welcome on in to another episode of the Whiskey Crusaders. I'm Will. I'm Sarah. And I'm Matt. Today we're going to be talking about Sagamore Spirits and their rye whiskey. Alright, so Sagamore Rye. It's a straight rye. Uh, the regular one is about three years old. The cast strength is four years old. Um, they started out in a farm that was built in 1909 called the Sagamore Farm, which was at the time uh, owned by the Vanderbilts. And they get their spring fed water from the aquifer that is there currently, which is what they truck in 22 miles from there to the distillery, which was built, starting to be built in 2015, it was finished uh, a couple years ago. Their own distillate is going to the barrel starting in 2017. So what we currently have, these are MPG sourced uh, whiskeys, um, which is nice about this is a Maryland style. So back in the day, Maryland used to have 44 distilleries and uh, before prohibition. After that, most of them shut down. A few uh, during World War II were used for ethanol plants, and then basically there was nothing and until um, the late 2000s. Finally, then started showing up. Uh, so Kevin Plank is the owner of Sagamore. He's also the majority owner of, so I think, owner of Under Armour, which I think also you have heard of. <laughs> so they're big into doing everything right there. They have a 40-foot column vendum, uh, copper pot, copper column still. They also have a 250-gallon copper pot still used for. Um, experimentation and whatever. So they're big into all these diamonds. They've got the three diamonds on it. They've got three diamonds on there. On their Work. lid, on the cork, it's ever there. So they're really into yeah, the, the And so this is the, a lot of this is the Maryland flag. So they're really into it. So that they've got three main core products, which is the regular 83 proof, the cast strength, and their double oaked. And so uh, let's get into the uh, tasting here. So we're gonna start off with the regular expression that they do. Yes. And so the mash bill on this is 53% rye, 42% corn, 5% barley, mixed with a combo of 95.5. So Maryland style rye is always going to be a low uh, rye compared to Monona Halo, which is Pennsylvania style, which is always going to be that high rye 95.5. So they comboed it from, from MPG. Very similar to High West's double rye. Kind yeah, of the same concept. That. Yeah, 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 exactly. Kind of like that, yeah. Well, you get your typical pickle note, but I also get a lot of the sweet mint. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Corn dustiness. Mm -hmm. Definitely vanilla. new oak. Yeah, vanilla, dill, rye bread, mint, and pickles. Yeah, like most ryes for me, I have a hard time getting past that pickle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a lot of relish. But I get a lot of a, the, a sweet mint, not like your peppermint right. or your spearmint, but it's, it's sweeter. So what I do get the peppermint, but I also get like sweet relish, mm -hmm. and it's an uncooked dough. Uncooked but, dough. Yeasty. Yeah. Very yeasty. But it also is like an oily perfume, and then if you ever stick your head in a bag of potato chips, like ruffles when they're gone, it smells kind of like that too, when the, when the bag of chips <laughs> is empty. Yeah. Do you do that often? Because I'm longing, longing for more chips. Never stuck my head in a bag of chips. That's a safety concern. Not all the way. You, know, you <laughs> just smell it, you know. It smells good. I like it. Don't let children play with plastic bags. You know, yeah, that would be bad. That's, yeah, definitely don't do that. <laughs> or math for that reason. We advise <laughs> against playing with plastic bags on your heads. <laughs> so, safety or concern bags. for all, all. But yeah. But their farm they do have is it's 530 acres and it's a equine farm as well. And they truck in, like I said, their water, but they have um, several horses that have been into the major races, Native Dancer being one of them, and I guess they said in the 08 Derby, every single horse in that Derby was related to Native Dancer, which is pretty wild when you That's think about cool. it. On the, on the palate, it was a lot of anise. Um, I pick up more of that 95% rye than I do that 50% rye. Um, it was okay. It's just really kind of, again, just not my cup of tea for the most part. Um, yeah. Yeah, I get some of the anise, but I get mostly the pickle. Mm -hmm. The more it's sitting here opening up, the more pickle comes forward for me. Um, at first, it wasn't as pickle forward as it was the, the mint forward, but now it's just all pickle, pickle, pickle. Yeah, I get vanilla, oak. It's oily. It's also bready and minty. Um, I get butterscotch and creamy. I really enjoy this. I think this is a good uh, person not into rye, especially the high rye. Right. In general, this is a good rye to cross over. So if you're a bourbon drinker, this is mm -hmm. going to be more of your style, I think, to start getting yourself into rye. There are more of the vanillas and more of the caramels. In I, yeah. I agree with that completely. And you can always, you can you can see the difference between the fact that Matt likes rye and we are not fans of rye. I love where, rye. Where, you know, we have a hard time getting past that pickle and that mint. Right. You know. 
and like you who enjoys it. Yes, <laughs> I do like it. All right, well, I liked it better with the drop. No. Um, it really smoothed everything out and rounded mm. all the corners off. Um, it was a much more smooth and cohesive journey across my palate. I enjoyed that. That was nice. All right. All right. So let's go into the big bad boy, Cash Strength. Cash Strength. This particular one is a 56.3%. They use the Kelvin Cooperage. They use a three to three and a half char on it. And the different types of rye that are is Pennsylvania rye, Maryland rye, German and Canadian rye. It's a four year. Um, this is kind of what they think. So basically they add a spl it usually goes into it around 114 when it comes out of the barrel and they splash it down to the one 112.6 and this they also have 112.2 which is more standard they said coming out now but yeah when their regular stuff comes out in a couple years I'll be interested to see if it's similar or different but right I love this stuff this is the especially mm -hmm. batch 2g this is batch 2c but the 2g is magic uh, and see on the nose I don't get as much of that pickle you don't, I don't either no. it's much more of the the corn dustiness yeah it's got more um, the bourbon notes on the nose mm -hmm. for me uh, versus the regular. Yeah, the higher proof uh, is bringing out more of the, those. It's bourbon notes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you still get your anise, but it's, it's subdued. It's back there. It's a sweet relish, vanilla, you cinnamon, Search nutmeg, salt and pepper. Is this a oak? Yeah, I get a, a strong oaky note. Corn sweetness. Candy orange. Butterscotch. Oh, it smells wonderful. We also get a waxy walnut, some rye bread, like a Reuben sandwich with some sauerkraut on it. This is delightful. If, if you like rye. Like Matt's our rye guy. I do love the yeah, rye. Right, on the on. taste, the pickle comes out. Um, it's not as strong as it is in just the regular. Um, the regular. Oh, it's no one here's dominant. The proof is, is definitely there, and it's definitely kind of kicking it up a notch versus the other. Um, if I had to pick between the two, not being a rye person, I'd definitely pick the the cast drink. Oh, just because I like yeah, the high proof. Sure. Mm -hmm. But but yeah, it's a good burn. The rye is not as dominant, I don't think. No. It's very oily. Mm -hmm. um, I get more of the rye bread side of things as yeah. opposed to the pickle side of things. It's oily, it's got like orange spice drops in it. It's sweet. Got the rye bread and the anise. It's also got like a fresh uh, mint winter fresh. Experiment's clean. Yeah, the minty shows up big time on the nose after you've tasted it. Yeah. The mint shows up big time on the on the palate in general. I don't get it as much on the nose, probably because of the high proof of it. But I get more of the rye bread than I do of the pickle. Yeah. On the the taste of this. It's got clove cigarettes, tobacco. Cigar wrapper, mm -hmm. a little chocolate. It's really good. I really love this. this the drop of papers. water really opened up uh, the oils and separated things really nicely. The the lingering finish is, is nice and long. Good. Yeah, yeah I, prefer, I prefer this Definitely. over this yeah. for sure. Absolutely. If I were to have to race for a ride. <laughs> for sure. Until next time. Keep on crusading for whiskey in your glass. Cheers. Cheers. Hello, hello, welcome on into another episode. <laughs> Shit.